like the first commandment asserts, thou shalt lift. I don't think there's personal development without physical development when it comes to a man. Men learn by doing. Do you know that? That's why the school system has feminized us to such a great degree. The school system is designed for girls. That's why all the boys have ADHD and whatnot. You know, and the, and the boys that do really well, you know, generally speaking, are the softer boys. You know, real alpha male little dudes don't do very well uh, sitting down and listening because it's not our nature to spend all day in a, in a seat listening to somebody. You know, even though you guys are here with me for the next hour and a half or so. <laughs> I'm, I've been sitting in a seat for a while. Whole society is feminized. But men learn by doing. Men learn by doing things together. And so you got to get out there. You got to get things do going. And I say you begin with the gym. Doesn't mean that you got to be a bodybuilder. Doesn't mean that you got to be a strong man or a power lifter. None of that at all. You don't even have to be a crossfitter. But you got to use it or you lose it. And a man, his gift, our gift, what sets us apart from women is our body. That's why women can compete with us on, in pretty much every regard. There, you know, they've taken over basically every industry. They've even tried to, you know, prop them up in the STEM industries, right? Like, you know, sciences and engineering, you know, which really requires a masculine mind. But you can mold the mind, and a lot of women's minds have been molded, and their minds have been, you know, twisted to be more masculine. So they think that their thinking is more masculine. Their character, their behavior is more masculine. But one thing that will never change, the one thing that they can't, they just can't reproduce is the man's body, the masculine body. Now, I don't care if you get an added dick to me and you start taking hormones, you will never compete with a man. Even the most mediocre of men would destroy a woman, even if she's you know, one of the top women. That's why the, uh, did you notice when the, uh, the Olympic, the women's Olympic soccer team lost to like a middle school boys soccer team? Oh, you might, you might wonder how does that happen when men and women are equal? A woman can do anything that a man can do. Well, why is it that teenage boys whoop up on the, the world's best soccer player, female soccer players? Because the one thing that sets us apart, that cannot be faked, is our bodies, our strength. So, men, the reason why the first of all commandments is to build up that body, it is because that's what will set you apart. A woman will, can do anything she wants to today. She's got the law on her side. But one thing she can never be is stronger than you. <laughs> right? And, and, for, and what is that worth? Well, I'll let you decide. I'll let you decide in a, woman, in, a, in a world where women think that it's okay to slap men. I slap a woman back. If a woman slap me, I'll slap her back with a heavy, heavy hand. <laughs> Does that make me a bad guy or misogynist? I don't know. I don't know. But you lay a hand on me, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I'll give you my back slap. I'll give you my, the back of my hand right across your face. So... I don't know, but the bottom line is here, fellas, if that we're in this uh, journey of growing stronger, become the strongest version of ourselves, becoming kings in our lives, fitness, business, and women, it begins with what we do with our bodies. So get out there, guys. Get to the, get to the, uh, get to the gym. I don't care if you're doing, like I said, CrossFit, gymnastics, Olympic lifting, power lifting, whatever it is. Even if it's just a chin-up bar in your bedroom, start pumping out some reps. Porn. 68% of church-going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be? To live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.